calculate in the right order. Now this is a problem about order of operations, so we can actually review that here uh, as we study decimals. Which operation would be done first? It is parentheses and multiplication subtraction. Okay, we need to do parentheses first. But inside the parentheses there's a multiplication and subtraction, and of those we need to do multiplication first. Let me mark it here with the color. This first, and it's going to be 24. Okay, now inside parentheses is 27.5 minus 24. I can do that mentally. 27 minus 24 is 3, and then you have the point 5. So this whole thing will be 3.5. And so now I have two subtractions to do. From 105 take away this and take away that. Let's see. 105 take away 3.5. I can do that in parts pretty easily too, because 105 minus 3 is 102. Then take away half, 0.5 would be half. 102 take away half is 101.5. So all of this is 101.5. And then I just have one more subtraction to do over here. 101.5 minus 12.88. Notice how I line up the numbers again so that the decimal points are lined up. Zero here. I need to put a zero there so I can now subtract. And I can't even start without regrouping. So leave four here, ten here. And now subtract ten minus eight. That's two. Then over here, four minus eight. I can't do that, so regroup again. Leave zero here. And 14 here. 14 minus 8 is 6. Then 0 minus 2. Okay, I could continue regrouping, but I can just think of this as the whole number 100 minus 12. 100 minus 12 is 88. Quicker. Okay, so that's our final answer. 88.62. Lastly, we have a word from, from Matthew. Thank you, Matthew, once again. It is blueberries, of course, because he loves blueberries. Matthew bought 8 kilograms of blueberries. He ate 3 kilograms and 4 tenths of a kilogram. And then he ate 2 kilograms and 72 hundredths of a kilogram more. How much is left? You have a good appetite, but then again, you're a mammoth, so I guess the portions are pretty big, you know? Well, you could either go 8 kilograms minus this, minus that. Or you could first add these two portions that he ate together and then subtract that from 8. I'll do that. Addition is easier anyway. 3.4 plus 2.72. Line up the points and add. Here you can imagine 0 here. There's 2, 11 and 6. And now we subtract from 8 kilograms that. 8 minus 6.12. Okay, I need to put the decimal point here for the 8 and zeros. And now comes the regrouping again, or borrowing, borrow from 8, leaves 7 here and 10 here. And then from 10, leaves 9 here and 10 here. 10 minus 2, 8, 9 minus 1, 8, 7 minus 6, 1. 1.88 kilograms left, or 1 kilogram 88 hundredths of a kilogram. 